Hello, everybody. Uh, today, uh, the release of this will be July 17th, 2020. And I'm pre recording this because I'm going to be on vacation up in the Rocky Mountains for the next few weeks, and I wanted to still deliver my answers to your questions on Ask a Fund Manager. And for today, my question is from uh, a viewer in, based in San Francisco who asked me, what is the volatility of volatility and why does it matter? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I have a background in options. I'm going to try to do from in a macro. So I'm going to try to do this from a perspective of um, what this is and how I use it. Basically, the volatility of volatility is an index from the CBOE that it shows it's the first derivative of VIX, which VIX is the volatility of the S&P 500. So it's how fast volatility changes. Um, this sounds like to people outside of finance is like just digging into the minutia. And that's what I first thought about it too. It's like, why do I need to care about the volatility of volatility? It's like overkill, but there actually is a reason. Uh, and it's often a leading indicator for future volatility and stress in the markets. And like VIX, it tends to mean revert. So when it gets to extremes, it can help be, be, traders determine whether it's time to um, start taking contrarian trades, whether on the long or the short side. Like the mean of since 2012 for VIX is about 86. And the level that it stays above, which has to stay below in order to like be like a relatively calm market is 110. Like even with the market rally as much as it has since the COVID crisis um, peak, uh, it's the the value of um, of the Vivix will um, has still held above 110 as of July 10th. It closed at 109.71, which is kind of right on the line. Like a few like th two weeks ago. We had a close of the VIX on a weekly basis at 105, and it immediately shot back up with VIX shooting back up from into the 40s. So it doesn't. We need it to stay below that level for at least a whole another week or two to really confirm that yeah, the worst is over when it comes to the markets, or at least the markets perceiving the worst is over when it comes to risk to the downside. Uh, and yeah, if it gets, and the low was 60 in 2013, uh, right in the middle of QE3. And then the low prior to this recent um, uh, move up was, it, it was about, it was in the low 70s. And this was back in the middle of 2019. So it's not like bottoms in the VVIX don't equate to tops in the market. It's not that simple. And then the highs of the VVIX were all during major crises. There's in 2014, 15, when they had the, um, the China devaluation crisis, it reached all, its 10 year high of 212. It also broke 200 during the Volmageddon scare in 2018. And it, it reached as high as two, 210 at the peak of this crisis. So, because volatility can only change at a certain pace and like the rate of change yeah and when you that way it's usually around the peak of the market so i think this works better more as a contrarian bull indicator or time to when to sell volatility versus the other way around but i look at it it, it shows you how i would say for a lack of a better term how fidgety sellers are on the trigger finger when this is above 110, it means people are quick to sell and the risk level is still there. There's some people still think there's something systematically going on that could cause a derailment from the markets. And when it's below that, you think, yeah, it, the, there, we're wait, basically that means, yeah, great. Uh, we're waiting for a catalyst before something really can happen. So that's my take on the VVIX. Uh, it's not, it is an indicator that I use to help analyze the general condition in the market, but it's also not like a key thing that you can just trade on exclusively or 
even I mean many professional VIX traders can and that's not really my specialty but those are my takes on VVIX I think it's a useful indicator but it's not an end-all be-all and then you can find it by just typing in VVIX on Yahoo Finance or Thinkorswim or a lot of other uh, major charting services and financial information providers so that's how you can follow VVIX and it's updated fairly frequently throughout the trading day Thank you for watching and enjoy your weekend.